Garibaldi, we've got trouble. So what else is new? I mean, Major, we just got word the Centauri have begun an all-out offensive against the Narn homeworld. Started about an hour ago. Oh, no. Is there any word on how it's going? Not yet. We got an early relay from an Earth listening post, but word's gonna be hitting the station any time now. When that happens, it's gonna be riots and blood in the streets. All right, I'll need authorization to lock down the station. You got it. I'll have my people close off traffic between levels, break up any group larger than five. Recommend you post a general alert telling anybody without urgent business to stay inside their quarters until this thing is over. It's already recorded. It'll go out on the station monitors as soon as the word hits. This is it, Michael. The balloon's going up. We interrupt this program with this late-breaking story. Officials in Earthdom confirm that the Centauri Republic has begun a devastating frontal assault on the Narn homeworld. Reports continue to come in alleging that the main Narn fleet has been neutralized and that Narn is completely encircled by its enemies. Oh, no. Neither government has yet confirmed nor denied these reports, though some messages relayed from Narn seem to corroborate the stories of massive destruction and death. For the latest developments on this story, we take <laughs> We've got mass rides all over the place. Garibaldi's men are doing what they can. We've closed off all sections. Good. Escort Ambassador Delenn to her quarters. See to it she arrives safely. Captain... It's all right. Now go on. Any word about the attack? They're just rumors. They say the Centauri are using mass drivers. I can't believe they'd resort to planetary bombardment. Well, right now I believe just about anything. planetary bombardment in its fourth day, the Narn government continues in its refusal to surrender. Minbari, Vorlan, Earth, and other governments have filed official protests with the Centauri Republic for their use of mass drivers against the civilian population. But so far, the protests have had no effect. Although communication with the Narn homeworld is difficult at best due to the continued attacks, word has reached ISN of cities utterly destroyed, hundreds of thousands of casualties, the total elimination of power and water over most of the Narn planetary surface. Most of their major cities have fallen, food shipments have stopped, the planetary economy has collapsed, and medical treatment is virtually non-existent. Government analysts predict that unless the Narn government surrenders soon, their entire infrastructure will be totally destroyed. Quote Senator Ronald Quantrell, they're being bombed back into the Stone Age. Off. 